Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got increasing eruptive activity on the sun. We'll track the tropical storm near Mexico and see an excellent study on how enduring the disaster cycle elements have been over time. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that things are increasingly active at the sunspot groups. A breakout of a large umbral field was followed by an M3 flare and possible small CME. This one won't be of any concern, although it may amplify solar wind over the coming days. At the end of the sequence, you see that flare and possible ejection. It is facing Earth the next two days, so eyes open for any more eruptive activity there. Those sunspots are becoming a bit more jittery, by the way. When they came into view, it was a master class in stability, but I see about double the morphing there now. We'll have to keep watching that. The solar wind remains elevated. We're still inside the coronal hole stream, screaming by at over 700 kilometers per second. But the stable speed has allowed Earth's magnetic field to brace and adjust. And just this morning, the solar storm is finally ending after an entire day. Remember, the ionospheric and atmospheric effects last another 24 to 48 hours. To review the geomagnetic reverberations expected today, due to the continuing high solar wind pressure, and we've got eyes on the fiery active region sunspots to see if they flare again. Up next, folks, seismicity has been pretty low, and on top of that, all the bigger ones recently have struck out to sea. Hard to argue with either of those realities being preferable to other options. So next, we'll go to the tropics, where Alvin has its name and is spinning while tossing storm food up into the continent. It's heading almost due north and will impact near the tip of Baja and then the mainland. Eyes on that, too. Top science news today is a double dose of disaster cycle data. First, they confirmed that the dansgaard oeschger events are easily traceable even back into the previous glacial period, well over 100,000 years ago. And not only does that play in the larger cycle and its harmonics up to the 6,000 and 12,000 year events, but they say they even spot solar forcing of these conditions just like is the case more recently in those cycles confirmed way into the past along with the forcing modulation by our star would be a beautifully intelligent announcement if not for the scary stuff it means for our world in the next 20 years as it happens again folks about 30 percent of the entire viewership of the channel said big yes to this a dating event where you'll find other observers someone else who knows what's coming someone who's a prepper all details for the event two months from now at the link below and yes we will control for gender imbalances. If we're getting too many men or women, we'll pause registration for that one until the other catches up. Remember, self-sufficient doesn't have to mean solo. And don't forget, everything you're going to need to know is being delivered at the ranch several times this season. Lots of great reasons to come out and see us. ObserverRanch.com. Check the event page. Book your stay. Key links are below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here right now it's 5 15 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone